so November is here and with that the developers of the game the division announced the new monthly activities for the game which includes a new shield called Fang uh, and today we're gonna be talking about this new shield so if you enjoyed the video hit that like it actually helps me a lot and let's get into this what is Fang shield challenge you may ask the challenge is to complete all the legendary missions in the game if you do not know uh, what these legendary missions are they are highest difficulty missions in the game the NPCs are gonna act a lot different from the challenge missions they deal more damage they have more health and they can one shot you with a melee if you get too close with only three months ahead of us for the release of the sequel of the game this one might be a little bit tougher for players that are new or returning to the game well, if this makes you feel a little bit better, you actually not gonna be the only one struggling doing these missions. Because as far as we know, these missions are gonna be retroactive. Which means if you are a veteran and have done these missions, you're gonna have to do this all over again once the shield is active to be counted as completed for the legendary missions. And these are gonna be the good news for the new players because uh, if you don't have a team and you match make you're gonna be able to find players because everybody's gonna have to do these missions on legendaries after the shield is active and I do recommend for you if you're a new player to match make because you might find good people to help you out do the legendary missions and in the end of the missions if you guys have different type of classified gear you guys can uh, share it with each other and that's gonna be a lot of win-win for everybody shotgun is trying to get me from behind though Essentially, there is seven legendary missions located in the map. The first one is gonna be Times Square Power Relay, Napalm Production Site, Warren Gate Power Plant, Amher's Apartment, Grand Central Station, Madison Field Hospital, and General Assembly. If you don't have much experience with legendary missions, technically you can use any build to play on PvE, but there is some builds that's gonna make your job a lot easier. My recommend builds for the legendary missions are going to be the Striker Classified, Technician Classified, Nomad Classified and the Defense Classified builds. If you don't have any of these builds, there is a global event coming up soon on this month of November the 19th, which is going to help you get some classified gear to complete a build. Essentially, classified are best to get on global events since we have three months ahead of us for the release of the sequel you don't really have to complete this challenge sealed right away uh, if you have if you need to get some gear first and do the legendaries after if you need any help making a PvE build my channel has plenty of PvE builds for different type of sets for different type of gears and if you want to watch some legendary plays to have an idea how is the legendaries I've done every single legendary in this game uh, solo with different type of builds but mostly with a striker I actually enjoy doing legendary solo a lot so expect some more videos on how to complete the legendary missions for the coming weeks and if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and that's gonna be it for me guys if you enjoyed this video if it was helpful don't forget to hit that thumbs up it actually helps me a lot and if you're new you can subscribe and catch on my guides for the divisions and for new coming games soon that i'm gonna introduce to my channel i hope you guys have a great one and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace yeah, just like, just like right